Hello again, YouTube Truth Man here. So, I have no other choice but to roast and slam Mr. Keep It Simple again. Dude. Now, I started to come at him in his comments, but I said, you know what? I'm not going to even do it like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach everybody that watches me that heard him say what he said earlier, the truth. Here's what I want y'all to do. I'm not trying to single nobody out that watch porn. But I, I, got, I want y'all to come in the comments and tell me this. If you if you're willing to, to be honest about it. How many of y'all that watch POR and hate women? This dude is weird, man. Like he he's so weird, it's annoying, man. Like I've never seen somebody like this dude. This dude is one of a kind for sure. Hey man. Mr. Keep It Simple, come on man. Leave that preaching to me. Leave that preaching to Mark the Messenger, who does a better uh, job of explaining the whole porn thing than you. Guys that watch porn, I think it's the total opposite. It's they love women too much. The saddest part about this though, is he had his little cheerleaders in the comments that was agreeing with him. Dudes that watch porn, they don't watch it because they hate women. They watch it because they love them. They love looking at them. They're attracted to them. And that's a good thing if they watching porn, heterosexual corn. We ain't gonna just keep saying the word. And I want y'all to understand something, man. It's normal. See, here's what happened with preaching. When you get novice preachers, arrogant dudes who think a little too high and run a little too fast, you like a green banana, you ain't ripe yet. They get to saying things that almost will confuse and condemn other people. You don't hate when, so that's like guys who like big butts, right? They looking at women in public because they hate women. Dude, that's like, I'm, I'm, I'm finna start rating dumbest takes. That is one of the dumbest things I done heard this year. And at the end of the year, I'm, I'm gonna try to remember a lot of the things that I done heard people say that were just outlandish and outrageous. This, this gotta be one of them. First he says, and I ain't with that red pill stuff either. Hey man, to me it seems like you hate everybody that is not like you. You a narcissist, man. That, ain't no doubt about that. This dude is a narcissist, man. And if any of y'all, hey, General Tito, any, any, any roast team content creator, Roast this dude, man. He, he, I mean, he, he wants to be roasted. Let's give him what he want. Dude, people who watch porn don't want, like, like a content creator that I got rapport with. I ain't gonna say his name on this particular thing. He know who he is. But he put a video up of Meg Thee Stallion. And everybody that watched that video probably, they head probably was moving right with her exterior. Now, I don't believe anybody that saw that video that this content creator posted hated Mac Destalia. Another one. Dude, no, dude, leave that preaching alone, man. Stick to, this is what you, this, I think, this is where you can help people. Stick to the reason why people should work jobs and not sell drugs. 
And here's another thing I noticed about him. He don't, if you look at his video, he don't talk, you don't, you don't see no videos about white people. All he do is talk about black people all day. You could talk about black people, but talk about everybody else too. Because if you only talk about black people, then you making it like black people is the only ones that do things wrong. Black people is the only ones in the Illuminati. The Illum come on, man. You tripping. You making yourself look like an agent too. Like why you only talk about black people? Are you doing it for views? Then that would make you a grifter. This dude had the nerve to say that, man. And listen, I would advise guys not to get all off into that because there is some negative connotations to watching corn. But that was a dumb take, man. This is why you, you don't need to preach, man. And I'm not trying to bust you out or nothing, but don't you got multiple sexual assault charges? I mean, is it true or not? So what he's saying, he could be saying out of remorse. But that's a dumb take, man. You could have just said, guys, porn has a dangerous side to it. Don't watch it. Do all you can to avoid it. And it would have been a good take. But for you to say that guys who watch it hate women you starting to it seems like you trying to be a shock jock man you need to be yourself you're not charleston white you're not kevin samuels in fact this dude one one thing he was he was on the low tip he was really critiquing kevin samuels practically every week and that's how he got a lot of his sub and the way i know is because i was watching some of his video but won't you go after people who gonna come after you back though? Like uh, the one dude with with the locks, man, tore you to shred, made you a. Hey, you better leave dude alone. I forgot it. I forgot his name, man. I don't, I, I wish I could have gave him credit because. That's some dumb stuff, man. And I hope there's one particular person that I know was having an issue with that. I hope he don't be watching you. If I find out he watching you, I'm really going to get you. I'm going I'm going I'm going all the way back. I'm going to watch all your videos cuz you done said a lot of old goofy stuff and you did some lying too. You did. I remember a couple times you was lying about some stuff that other people who knew you better called you up on. So, you know, I'm not saying you, you can say whatever you want, man, but other content creators need to address. If you get into this preaching thing, you need to be like bringing out the truth because the truth is what make people free. You got guys thinking that is something abnormal about wanting to see women naked. Ain't nothing abnormal about that. It just goes back to self-control. You need self-control. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit. There's nothing wrong with a man liking women. But this guy, what I'm addressing is he said that guys who watch porn hate women. That, that right there, dude, I don't know if you trying to say something outlandish for views. Dude, you tell people nine to five, save a lot. Why don't you go get a nine to five, man? Because if you got to say dumb stuff like that, then you probably need to go get one. You do. You know, I think what we say is more important than what we have. I do. Like, it's, we should all try to get money. We should all try to get right in our lives. But when you start talking on YouTube, you don't know who's watching. You don't know what they're dealing with. Let's say you have a person that they go to a church or their family go to a church. 
where their family been condemning them for this and condemning them for that. And then you come on there and say something like that to them, you've been on took some of these a weaker person over the edge. That's why when you preach, man, you gotta preach both sides of every issue and you gotta be well-rounded in your preaching, man. Because if you're not, there's no telling what might happen to the people in their personal lives who hear it. So, again, man, listen, in closing, when you preach, just make sure that you know what you're talking about, man. Anybody can preach, and as many people who, who have the wisdom and the knowledge to do so, need to do so. I'm not I'm not trying to say that this man shouldn't say nothing, but I'm saying that when you when you when you go into topics like that, those sensitive areas, you gotta be a little more versed, man, because you've been saying some dumb stuff lately. I was starting to give you the benefit of the doubt, but you what what's are you on meds or something? Are you have you not been like if you on meds and you ain't been taking your meds, man, take your meds, man. Take your meds. You know, that ain't none of our business, whether or not you on meds, but just uh, just take your meds, man. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. We'll be back with more videos tomorrow. I'm trying to get, go pick my sons up so I can get back and watch that second half of the game. Until then, hey man, Everything people say on YouTube, just do your research, man. Don't let nobody discourage you and have you disheartened without knowing whether or not what they saying is the truth.